amazed to find myself here in Cape Town today and to hear, have heard such beautiful singing and seen such fabulous dancing. Well, I'm very passionate about education as a, as a whole anyway, so to have an opportunity to come over here and learn from my African colleagues is just wonderful. I know we can share our good practice and our advice, but I'm already here live in the airport seeing the passion of the singing of the kids that I'm going to bring straight back to my kids and show them everything that goes on. So hoping to learn from each other and, and assist in any way we can to help build the Mellon Educate Schools over here. very very honored to have the volunteers coming to my school we shall benefit a lot from them not only in the classes but also outside the classes in as far as sport music is concerned so what melon is doing is doing a wonderful job by coming and teaching or assist in teaching our children to improve the results. That is wonderful. They, they have not come to impose or, or what they come with to us, but you know, to work with us, kind of merge with us, and we, we come up with something better for the learners. And as we go on through the next fortnight, we're going to host some workshops for the whole staff on numeracy, language, special education, leadership, but we'll also be catering for the needs of the individual teacher by supporting them on what it is they need and they want in the classrooms. Before the teacher from Ireland came, I was really, really struggling with uh, the introducing of the phonics. But when she started, my learners, they were glowing. The approach that I use at home is that I have little stories that make it fun. Uh, so I just, I just uh, did that in a training session with the teachers and then we went in afterwards and we, we modelled some lessons and then the next step was for the teachers to uh, carry out those lessons themselves with us assisting. And I, I, I think I am going to introduce even my home language sounds like the way she did because it was easy and it was also easy for them to understand. Um, since I've come to Silver Sands, it's just been a pleasure to be here. It's an honour, really. Um, the children are so warm and engaging. Their lives are tough, and so with that comes tough situations. But nothing that you can't handle with a bit of humour, a bit of fun, a bit of love. They think we're a bit strange, and they get used to our accents after a while. But their sense of wanting to get involved is, is infectious. Today our um, workshop is on positive behaviour as support and I suppose we've been looking at the behaviour in the classroom and I suppose looking at how we can support the teachers to enable them to put a programme in place that they're looking at engagement of pupils, pupils learning and the learning outcomes of the pupils and looking at ways of dividing up their class time so this is possible. Um, one of the main things that Mellon are focusing on over here in Cape Town at the moment is the importance of positive teaching. Over in Ireland it's something that we have mastered at this stage and received a lot of training in so we're trying to implement strategies here. Um, we're also focusing on the positivity within the staff and focusing on their main achievements. There's a lot going on in schools and I think at times it's evident that the staff don't realise how much they're achieving in one day and it's important that that's recognised on a continuous basis. They have infused us with new energy and it's, it's actually been very helpful to see a different view on our school because sometimes we get so bogged down in the problems that we are facing we don't we don't often recognize all the positives about our school and to have somebody else pointed out is helpful to us as well.
Um, so we have been observing in the reception classes and we've noticed that we're going to focus on number formation and basic counting. We thought state and teaching might be a good idea to introduce in the school. It's something that we do a lot at home and we haven't seen it here and it's a great way for the children to interact with different materials and uh, really kind of get interested in whatever number that they're learning. It's really amazing to see people that are coming from other countries uh, coming to our classes uh, to Kanye Primary School and uh, I managed to go to grade 7E class and then one of the volunteers was just teaching, telling us about the stories, the legend and the stories um, about, the, about Ireland. And then the kids managed to sort of ask questions. I said to myself, really our school is, in a, in a, is on a pedestal because our kids can communicate uh, using English because the world is waiting out there in English. So in the maths area, what we decided to do was focus on numbers um, for the first week and it was teaching the children the numbers and how to multiply and subtract and add. And so what we did was, with those games in the classroom, we began to bring them outside in the yard. And as you can see around here, we've uh, built some hopscotch games. And the children have learned to subtract and multiply having fun. But also we're working on coordination and shapes, which also links back to the, the whole maths programme. We can't, as teachers, change the home situation that children experience, but we can make their experience and their time in school a time of safety, a time of relaxation, a time of joy. And we, I, in order to learn, they need to discover that, find that joy within them. And they were, doing, they were using some quite interesting actions. They have, they have taught us how to, to use music, use dance and you know, uh, keeping the children active. So it's, it's, it's been a, a real joy to have um, the Irish teachers. Well, I personally hope that the relationship can, be, you know, can go further and we can learn more from each other. I can say my prayers have been answered because I give him God more than I wanted. Because uh, my, my partner, which was uh, Aiden, he assisted me now even using e-technology. I decided to work one-on-one -on -one with Miss Langer because it had the most benefit for her because she was the person who had the whiteboard in her class. Not all classrooms have whiteboards here and we planned out together what we would, what we hoped to achieve over the two weeks and it worked really well and uh, it's really nice to see her confidence grow and it's been growing gradually over the course of the two weeks and now to see her actually using PowerPoints in her lesson and see how excited she's getting that she can actually do it, it's been great. They've picked up on so much, even just from getting the kids up and standing and singing more songs and out of the classroom sometimes. And, um, and I think because we're in the classroom, they're able to be a little freer because there's an extra set of hands. So you can have more fun, you can do extra things with the kids and the kids are having a ball and so are we. We go home exhausted, but we go home happy. This is an initiative which I am certain that we will uh, 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 foster going forward and we sincerely hope that we will have the team back next year.